Now, Valentine's Day on Sunday, don't forget. So it's Love Week here on Loose Women. But Jeremy Clarkson might have ruined rom-coms for all of us, actually. He says that watching chick flicks, as he called them, like an officer and a gentleman, is just as bad as watching pornography because they give unrealistic expectations about intimacy and relationships. Now, he said men and boys should agree to give up watching porn if women and girls agree to give up watching romantic dramas. Interesting, Jane. <laughs> Interesting. What did you make of it? What do you think? Well, I know Jeremy very well, uh, and I would say that quite a lot of that will be tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. Um, but in a way, uh, I mean, I certainly think he's got a, a, a point about pornography. I think it's a very serious issue with, with young kids and what they can now get access to quite often without us knowing. Um, and a, a, about a couple of months ago, I decided to look, because I was reading a lot about this particular site, so I thought, I'm going to have a look at this, you know, just mm -hmm. to see what, what everybody's going on about. And it completely left me cold, because there was no kind of engagement between... It was, it was, it was basically just like, well, I mean, daytime television, yeah. you know what I mean. It was just soulless, yeah, so... um, and not a turn-on at all. Mm. Um, but I think he's also got a point about rom-coms because a lot of that is quite unrealistic yeah. as well. You know, that really kind of sweep me off my feet in a naval officer's uniform kind of stuff. Um, for me, it's, it, it, it's somewhere in, in the middle, but I think with kids, you just have to accept that they are going to be shown these extremes at some point in their life. And all you have to do is, within your own life, is give them an example of a healthy relationship, you know, whatever that relationship may be and, and what healthy love is. And then you know that when they do look at these things, they don't, they look at it for what it is rather than thinking, that's how I have to behave. Yeah, I think I think that's right, because you can't... I remember Jack once saying... We always have those conversations in the car, don't you? It always happens in the cars. Like, Trying not to crash. <laughs> he said something about, oh, yeah, one of the boys at schools looked at pornography, and I just did that, oh, has he? And I said, have you ever looked? He went, no. And I was thinking, mm. And I said, well, you know, it's, it's quite natural to want to look at these things, Jack. I said, but I just would like you to remember that what you see is not actually realistic, mm. and don't think that that's what all girls girls, women are like, and that's what they'll want. And that's all I thought, Denise, was that you, there's no point in me saying to him, don't watch it, because, no, you know... No, there isn't. It would, in our day, it would have been, people, you know, magazines that somebody found on their dad's yeah. bedside table, but yeah. now they have access to so much. It's just to say, I know it's there, but just be careful what, what you're looking Absolutely. at, and that's not real. Yeah, I think, agreeing with Jane, I think that Jeremy Clarkson's hardly part of the woke brigade, so I think it probably was tongue firmly in cheek, because... I listen, I, lo I love a rom-com, you know, um, I've been married three times, so obviously I'm under no illusion, nor are my children, as to, <laughs> as to the fact that a lot of that is, uh, is make-believe. And, um, you know, Lincoln wasn't in a naval officer's uniform, it was at a club at six in the morning that doesn't open until four, but here we are, 12 years later, very happy. But um, I think you're right, Ruth and Jane, it's about how you bring up the children, how you develop them, because they're not going to stop walk wa watching it. Literally, you pick up your phone, it's one click, and you are taken to really, really hardcore porn. And no, but we can't be naive enough to think that they're never going to look at it. But it's not just boys. There are girls. I was talking to this um, school that I went up to do um, a chat with. There are, there are girls who are having um, porn addiction as well. So it's not just boys. Um, it's something that we have to be very careful well, about, but we bit can't young, stop them accessing. Probably too young to start talking about that yeah. yet, but it, it will come, I'm sure. Yeah, it's something that I'm definitely going to be aware of, and I think I agree with Denise in that, you know, girls are looking at it because they think that that's what men want, so they're, you know, trying to play up to that expectation. Yeah. And 100% with rom-coms, like, you're not going to stop watching them, like, you don't want to no. take away yeah. something enjoyable and nice, but also, yes, we do have to be aware that talking, it's not real um, life. 